Now, I'm going to tell you something, but I don't want you to get uptight. What? Well, you sound uptight. <sighs> Just tell me. I spoke to the police last night. Oh, what did he say? Well, I wasn't there, was I? But I'm guessing he said nothing, otherwise we'd have been arrested by now. All right? All right. The only problem is, Len told him it was us. Oh, you what? Well, if you just stick to your story, it'll be fine. No, 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 I've had enough of this. Well, just relax, will you? Like I said, if he'd said anything, then we'd have been arrested by now. Come on, let's get some breakfast, will you? No. no. I don't think we should be seen together. I don't know why those two haven't been arrested. I lost count of the number of times I got attacked inside. No one ever got the blame. You go on, Frank. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to have a word with that Scott Windsor. I don't believe this. She's done it again. If you think you can satisfy Carl, then you're kidding yourself. He'll cheat on you just like he cheated on me. He'll be all over that slap of Chloe for a starters. Oh, charming. Yeah, looks like she's even started on you now. Why do you think she's doing it? Oh, I don't know, Chloe. How about she's a vicious cow and she hates me? What do you think? Morning. You're gonna find the police will soon take that smile off your face. The police, eh? Why's that then? Don't like bullies, Scott. Never have. Oh, I'm a rapist, though, aren't you? Excuse me, is there a problem here? Your son has just beat up Frank. Could have killed him. I could have you for slander. Well, if you're accusing people of slander, we could start on Donna, don't you think? It's her accusing Frank that started all this. Just get out. Go on, out! Oh, I'm going, don't worry. I've said what I came to say. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 the right, now, which part of off do you not understand, Chaz? Help me. No, I don't oh, think so. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop running! Stop running now! Stop, stop, stop! Young man! Matthew! Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Come with me. Oh, no, run! No, run! Make yourself useful, then. Give me a hand. I've had another letter. Oh, no, I can't believe she's still doing this. So she's going to cheat on me. So? I'm not, am I? Mm, you probably told her that once as well, didn't you? Oh, give me a ear. Shut up and give me a kiss. You smell. Oh, thank you. In a good way. Thought I'll see you later and have a shower. So what do you want to know, Mum? I'll give you one guess. No, go on, say it. Did you beat up Frank? What if I did? I'll take that as a yes, then. Why are you so bothered about it? Will you just give me a straight answer? You did it, didn't you? You beat him up. No, of course I didn't. Oh, Scott. Oh, Scott, what? The guy is a rapist. The bottom line is he had it coming. I don't know what we're arguing about it we're for. We're not arguing. I just want to get things clear. Well, it is clear. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I never touched a hair on old Frank's head, all right? But I tell you what, the guy who did deserves a medal, not the third degree. Uh, I think the ice... OK. Butch, anything. Don't make any noise. Don't even breathe too loud. Yeah, don't... Just don't hold your breath, either. <laughs> I don't like this video. Tough. Can we have popcorn? Mum always lets us have popcorn. Also, tough. I want cold. Yeah, I refer you to my previous answer. Bite light. I didn't know you kept any old photographs. I feel I know this little boy better than I know you. I remember the child. I remember the young man with such hopes for a good life. Well, that was a long time ago. I don't want you to go, Frank. I thought I might manage to give you a home here, a place to start again. I have to go. 
I'm sorry I doubted you. I know you're trying to turn over a new leaf. You had every reason to doubt me. Won't you stay? My parole officer will be here in an hour or two. And he's going to take me to a hostel. It's all so quick. I'm going to do what you said, Mum. Start again. I want to make a new life for myself. Hmm? I don't want to cause you any more pain. Everything all right? Yeah. Everything's fine. I am sick of that van. Slept him worse. That's not the point. I want to sleep in my own bed in my own house. <laughs> Gentlemen, come to make some dinner. That's all right with you. What are you cooking? Stew. What else have we got? Lisa makes a right good stew. Yeah, she does. Stew it is, then. Be my guest. Oh, you're too kind. This isn't going to work. Lisa. No, I can't be nice to that man. I just can't. But you're going to have to. Look, I just feel like killing him with my bare hands. Slowly, preferably. This will work. Trust me. When have I ever let you down? Oh. Yeah, don't answer that. Please. Oh, Mark, sharp knives. Hot fat boiling water, what are you doing in here? It's Luke. What's up with him? He's dying. What? what? I want to thank you both for standing by me. I don't need thanks for doing my Christian duty. Still, thank you. And Len? No, 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 don't say anything. I don't want to lie. And I won't have it end this way, but... Well, you're not sorry to see me go. I understand. I brought a lot of trouble with me. Anyway, I'll up. You'd better look, son. You'll look after him. I'll do my best. Mum. Don't say anything. We'll keep in touch. I'll come and see you. I baked you some biscuits. Mum, I'm so no, sorry. Please, please. I don't want any apologies. Oh, I do hate goodbyes. All right. Frank. I, I know I, I may feel that I don't know you, but you're my son. My only child. My little boy. And I love you. <laughs> God bless you. Take a deep breath and have some water. Oh, not at the same time! My head hurts. Well, maybe you need some aspirin. Do kids take aspirin? Marlon. Louise, do children take aspirin? Luke's had some brandy. Maybe he needs his stomach pumping. I don't know. How much brandy did you take? About a spoonful. A spoonful? Marlon, I think the only person that needs medication in this room is you. Maybe some tranquilizers would help. Yes, please. I think I'm going to call an agency chef until you can find a babysitter. What? No, that's not all right. How do you plan on combining uh, childcare with cooking, Marlon? Well, I don't have a plan as such at this point. Back, back to the sofa, you little nightmares. Back to the sofa. Okay, right, well, when you um do have a plan as such, then we'll welcome you back in the kitchen. All right? What? Hey, right, then. Let's watch the rest of this video. Like a chat with your daughter. This way. Donna, 
got visitors, the police. We'd like to ask you some questions about Frank Hartborn. Is that all right? OK. You sure you're up to it? Yeah. Good. Now, we understand that before the attack on Frank occurred, he'd met you and offered you help after you broke down. Is that correct? Yes, it is, yeah. Did he in any way threaten you? I was scared. I was all alone and I knew he was a rapist. Nobody's blaming you, Donna. Just want an answer to the question. Did he threaten you? No, he didn't. He asked me if I needed any help. I panicked. I set off my alarm and then I just left. Did you have any reason to think he might attack you? Yes. He's a rapist. Donna. Nothing specific, no. But you must have been in some distress when Scott and Sid saw you. Yeah, I was. Just a minute, I can see where this is going. If you're looking for suspects, I'd say the whole village is in the frame. Except for Len, Pearl and Edna. And Edna's a dark horse. So Scott got the impression you'd been assaulted. How did he react? Don't answer that. Never mind. We'll ask the man himself. Thanks for your help. You want on with that? No. I, um... I, I just wanted to say that I'm, I'm sorry what happened happened. If you only say sorry about Scott and Sid beating the living daylights out of him, then maybe you should say so. I don't think there's any call to take that torn with me. I'll never support use of violence. You didn't support the use of tolerance, either. I still happen to think you were in wrong. But as, as one stubborn old so-and-so to another, how about letting bygones be bygones? Don't get it, dear. You? We needed you. And instead of standing by us, you were supporting the opposition. You can't suddenly decide you want to be a friend now. Too late for that. So, oh, how was that? Well, what would be the word? Nice. No, that's not it. Adequate. I beg your pardon? But no offence. No offence? Don't take it personal. If you want any tips on cooking, I'm happy to help. Still, I see you managed to wolf it all down. Oh, we need full bellies, don't we, Sam? We're off fishing. What? Oh, huh? Right. Sam's been telling me about that general. I'd like to see if I could catch him. Yeah, my dad's never caught him. Been trying for years, hasn't he, Dad? Oh, that's right, Sam. Yeah, well, yeah, good luck. Right. Tell you what, if we catch anything, I'll give you a little master class on cooking fish, right? Bye, then. To us. That is it. I don't care if I end up in prison for the rest of my life. He is a dead man, him. Dead. Look, we stick to my plan. No, we do my plan. We kill him first and then we feed him to the pigs. Look, Lisa, you keep that shut. You don't let him get to you and in a little while he'll leave. Got it? Tell us what happened on the 21st. You mean when my little sister came running to me, crying and shaking because she'd run into him, yeah? Donna's confirmed he didn't threaten her. Yeah, I heard that as well. But you tell me, you're a teenage girl, you're in a country road on your own and there's a rapist standing in front of you. Now, that's threatening, right? So she turned up at home. What happened next? Me and Sid went to look for him at Jacob's phone. Why? I thought he'd attacked her. I was going to have it out with him. Were you planning on attacking him? I don't know what we'd have done if we'd have found him. But guess what? We didn't. I gave up. I came home. I was back here with Dawn by about one o'clock. Can you confirm this? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Can I have a look at your hands, please? My hands? Yeah. Often after a fight, there'll be signs on the hands. Scuff knuckles, cuts. <sighs> Satisfied? For now. Thanks for your help. Any time. What did you have to drag me into this oh, for? Relax, will you? As long as he keeps his end that way in the clear. Ah, uh, come on, love. At least I look after him. I'm his mother. I should have looked after him. He's a grown man. It's not your job anymore. You did your best. 
But it wasn't good enough, was it? Thanks to Scott and Sid. Do you know, I don't know if I can bear to face those people anymore. No, me neither. That's why I was wondering whether we should leave. Leave? What's the keepers? But you were the one who persuaded me to stay. I've never run away from a fight, but the fight's over now. And quite honestly, I've gone off this place. We deserve better. A new life? At our age? Hey. A new life. Oh, what's up with you? I can't believe you made me lie to the police. Oh, she'd rather I went down for protecting my own sister. You weren't protecting her because Frank never lifted a finger against her. And even if he had, that's no excuse for beating him up. I'd have done the same for you. I want either lucky one. Listen to yourself. You're getting angry because a rapist got a few bruises. You stood up for me and I'm grateful for that. I really am. But we need to move on. What's the first sensible thing you said? It'll make us stronger. How do you work that out? Because we're mates. We're a team. We look out for each other. Just got a few questions for you, if that's all right. I'm just on my way out, actually. It won't take long. It's about the attack on Frank Bernard Hartborn. Don't know anything about it. Then we really will be quick, then, won't we? Go on, then. Where were you at 12.55pm on the 21st? Here. Alone? Yeah. Yeah, as it happens, watching TV. But before that, we believe, you and Scott were out looking for Frank. We heard about Donna, didn't you? You should have seen her when we found her. She's since admitted that she panicked. Fact of the matter is, Frank didn't so much as say boo to her, let alone attack her. Anything you want to tell us? We looked for Frank. We didn't find him. We came home. It'll go easier for you if you just confess, Sid. You surely don't want to protect Scott Windsor. I haven't done anything. Think about it, Sid. You know where we are? Sammy's been saying. Zaki has been after the general for years and never got close. Isn't that right, Zach? Yeah, yeah. Sure enough, yeah. Something wrong with your rod, then, Zach? You are? Uh, no, it's, it's nothing to do with the rod, Paul. It's down to brain, skill and years of experience. What are you saying? Nothing. It just seems that you've been after that fish for years and had no luck. Maybe you're not man enough for the job. Oh, careful, Solomon. Zach. Come on, there's no shame in admitting that you're not up to it. Be honest. You're just a loser, aren't you? Now, you Zach. listen, you slimy Zach. troublemaking. Zach. What? I want a word. You're right. We feed him to pigs. You keep that shut, you don't let him get to you, in a little while he'll leave, remember? I remember. Right, then. But I'll tell you what, I can't stand much more of this. I tried making it up to him, but he weren't having it. Well, I'm not sure I'd blame him. Now, don't you start. Oh, excuse me. It's nice to see you back in here again. Mm. Buy into gin and tonic and a port and lemon. I'm glad to see you too, Lynn. I hope we can put the past behind us. We were welcome, remember? We were bringing a psycho in to terrorise the womenfolk. Well, I'm willing to make a fresh start if you are. Just a drink, thank you. Hey, got something to show you. Oh, he's not naked out there, is he? Hey, Miles. Ooh, James Bond. Hey, what do you think? Well, I think you should have let me help choose it. Hey! Oh, he didn't need any help, did he? He did a pretty good job all by himself. Mm, I do have to admit, he looked pretty dapper. The name's King. Carl King. Come on, Saga. You be James Bond, I'll be pussy galore. Uh, of course you will. <laughs> I don't know about you, but sitting here is helping me to make my mind up. I feel just the same. What are we talking about? What are you staring at? Sorry. Uh, sorry? Sorry about what? Have you got something to say? No, he hasn't. You looking for me, Sid? Come on. I'm surprised they dare show their faces. 
I'm not. Lads like that, they've got no shame. Well, at least now you can start to get on with your lives. That's what we were talking about before Sid came in. Mm -hmm. We thought we might start by moving away. No. I'm afraid so. No, you can't let those bullies win. I don't care about winning or losing. I just want us both to be happy. But you... You've laid down roots here now. Hmm. Pretty shallow ones. We both lost our jobs because of Frank, and you're the only friend we've got in the village. Friendships can be repaired. I'm sorry, I never I think we've had enough of living here. What is the matter with you? The police came over. Yeah, I saw them too. You didn't say anything to him, did you? They said Frank didn't do anything. He never even touched Donna. I know. You know that. And you don't think there's anything wrong with beating up an innocent man? He's not an innocent man. He's a rapist. He's done his time. Maybe he really was trying to start out again. Sid, it's simple, right? We got what we wanted. Frank's gone. Yeah. So keep your mouth shut and we'll be all right. You understand? Sid! <laughs> <laughs>